In this video, we'll be talking about three key skills needed for breaking into the world of data and analytics as a highly skilled data analyst. Let's go. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ron and I'm a data analyst based in London. If you guys are new to my channel, I make videos around tech, machine learning, data analytics, with a key focus of helping you guys break into the field of data and analytics. Before we start with today's video, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to every single one of you for showing constant support to this channel. We are now a very strong family of 800 plus data enthusiasts and it's crazy to even imagine what 800 people might look like. But thank you so very much for constantly supporting this channel. So if you guys are seeing my video for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and welcome to the family and also hit the like button so that it helps YouTube to recommend my videos to other users as well. So as you know, data analysts or data scientists have become one of the most sexiest job titles to have and a lot of companies are actually demanding very talented and skilled data analysts. The definition of a data analyst may vary across the industries but the skill sets that I will be talking about today are fairly consistent across any industry that you ever want to work for. The core skills needed for becoming a skilled data analyst sits between these three buckets. The first bucket looks at everything data. The second bucket looks at visualizing the data. And the third bucket looks at storytelling. Let's dive deeper into these buckets and really understand what's happening under the hood. The first bucket looks at everything data. So this includes everything from data cleaning, data extraction, data pre-processing and based on the industry you're currently working in or the industry you aspire to work for, the definition of a data analyst may vary. So some data analysts may also have basic concepts of machine learning and a bit around modeling as well. But in most cases, you would be paired up with a data engineer or a data scientist to work on those data models or to work on those machine learning problems. So this is what the first bucket looks like. It has everything to do with data. So now the question is, what exactly are the skills needed to tackle everything in the first bucket? There are three keys, tools or skills that are needed. So the first one is SQL. So SQL is a query language. In simple terms, we use SQL to communicate with databases. What happens is 90 to 99% of the time, most of the companies would have their data sitting in something known as databases. So this could be Google Cloud Platform, this could be AWS or any other database server providers. What does SQL allow us to do is to communicate with those databases and to retrieve the data that we need for our data analysis. So SQL is an essential skill needed as a data analyst to actually retrieve data or to extract data from databases. Once we have extracted data from the database, the next step is actually analyzing that data. This is basically where we clean the data, we pre-process the data, we do a lot of data transformation. Once we have extracted all the data using SQL, what are the key tools needed to even analyze this data? So. As a data analyst, you need to understand how to perform data cleaning, data extraction, data pre-processing within Excel, and then how to do exactly the same thing within Python as well. For most of you, Python could be the first programming language that you're picking up, and that was exactly me when I started my journey within data and analytics. Python was the first programming language that I picked up, and I personally believe the best way to learn something is by actually doing it. So for example, when I started learning Python, I performed exactly the same steps I would do in Excel, but in Python. So let's assume if I was cleaning data within Excel, so I would clean data by looking at null values, I would clean data by looking at outliers, I would perform exactly the same steps, but in a programming language. So in order to learn Python, I would Google around, you know, how can we look for null values using Python? How do we look for outliers using Python? And we start mapping processes that we do in Excel, but for Python. And that's how you start picking up Python as a programming language. Once you start working on one, two, three, four tasks, you become proficient at it. Of course, it also depends on how much time you spend on learning Python and how dedicated you are. So these are the skills needed for our first bucket, which is everything to do with data. The second bucket looks at visualizing the data. Now that we have extracted the data, we have cleansed the data, we have transformed the data, and then we have pulled some sort of insights from the data, 
Now we start looking at visualizing the data. Now, in order to visualize the data, there are three tools which are readily available in the market. And as a data analyst, you should know at least one of the three tools. The first visualization tool which is available is known as Google Data Studio. The second one is called Tableau. And the third one is called Power BI. These visualization tools are extremely powerful and often used for creating dashboards. Now, as data analysts, you might be required to do some sort of reporting where you're creating dashboards for your senior stakeholders or clients. And having a skill set where you know how to use one of these visualization tools are very advantages for you when you're applying for jobs or when you're working as a data analyst. The last and the key skill needed for a data analyst is storytelling. Now, as a data analyst, you would typically spend 85% of your time in the first bucket, which is everything data, understanding the data, cleaning the data, transforming the data, pulling insights from the data. The other 10% would be spent within the visualization part of it, which is building dashboards, building visualizations for your senior stakeholders. The last 5% which is the most important 5% and something which is over, often overlooked by any analyst is storytelling. Storytelling is the most crucial part of any data analysis. It's, it's a part where you are able to narrate a story behind the data that you've gathered, the data that you've analyzed, and the insights that you've heard. The main objective of storytelling is to narrate a story to your stakeholders or to your clients and to guide them in terms of what sort of data they were working with, what sort of insights you have pulled from that data, and then what sort of recommendations we want to put forward. Storytelling is a skill which every data analyst should value equally. And that's what makes a very highly skilled data analyst. So to recap, for becoming a skilled data analyst, the skills we need to be focusing on is to understand SQL, which would help us communicate with the database and extract data for our analysis. Next, it would be to learn Excel or Python. This would be used to analyze the data, clean the data, transform the data. And with Python, you can actually do some sort of machine learning and advanced analytics to it. The third skill would be more around visualizing, creating dashboards for our stakeholders. And the last and the most important skill of storytelling. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you would like to work on the skills that I've just mentioned above, I've got an entire playlist dedicated to these skill sets. I've done a video on the KPMG virtual internship, which is an end-to-end -end process where I talk about analyzing data using Excel and then visualizing data using Google Data Studio. I've linked that video down in the description box below. I will catch you in my next video. Till then, keep learning and keep sharing.